Mino Wakas and Shakas, it's me, Pu'ukani of PipelineParadise.com, reporting for IslandSportsMedia.com, your ultimate island style sports magazine. It was a thriller of a day for the University of Hawaii Warriors as they traveled to take on the Wolfpack of Nevada in a midday Halloween matchup. Hawaii, after opening the season with back to back wins, dropped five consecutive games, including all four whack games. On the flip side, Nevada entered the game undefeated in conference play at 3 0, but only 4 and 3 overall. The Wolfpack looking to even out the all time series record, which the Warriors held advantage in. Nevada entered the game as the nation's top ranked rushing offense, while Hawaii had the nation's third ranked passing offense. The game, expected to showcase two high powered offensive squads, did in fact live up to the hype. Hawaii came out firing on all cylinders, scoring first, with quarterback Brian Moniz finding junior wide receiver Kealoha Pilaris for an 18 yard touchdown pass. A great start for the sophomore quarterback after recovering from a concussion which sidelined him in last week's Boise State game. Hawaii up 7-0. Two minutes later, the Warriors struck again with quarterback Moniz hooking up for a 71 yard touchdown pass, this time going to junior wideout Javante Taylor, who pulled in six catches for 109 yards and two touchdowns sounds on the night still in the first quarter Hawaii 14 Nevada 0 finally with just over three minutes left in the first quarter Nevada put points up on the board as Wolfpack quarterback Colin Kaepernick scampered for two yards making it 14 to 7 getting that first score out of the way Kaepernick wasted no time and hustled up another two touchdowns for the Wolfpack in the closing two minutes to the half one score going through the air for 30 yards to Vai Ua and another on the ground by himself running 38 yards for the touchdown. After leading 14 to nothing in the opening minutes of the game, Hawaii found themselves trailing the Wolfpack 21 to 14 at halftime. Nevada carried the momentum into halftime and rode it into the third quarter, scoring first on a 40-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Kaepernick to wide receiver Trey Session. At the end of the third, it's Nevada 28, Hawaii 14. But as they have shown all season long, they will play to the final whistle as true Warriors, and that they did, pulling within one score as Moniz and Taylor hooked up for a second touchdown on the night, making it 28-21. UH put up 492 yards of offense on the night, their third highest total of this season, but it wasn't enough as Nevada put the game away with 1 minute 18 seconds left as kicker Ricky Drake nailed the coffin shut, converting on a 28-yard field goal. The final score on that late Halloween afternoon, Nevada 31, Hawaii 21. After the game, devoted fan and president of Island's Sports Media, Steve Kajihiro had a chance to talk to another true fan of Hawaii, George Drucker, manager of Motel 6 in Everett, Washington and formerly from Kailua, asking him his thoughts on the Warriors season so far. What's your thoughts, you know, of the season so far? You know, they won only two games this season. Give me your thoughts as a fan, how you feel the team is, and uh, maybe you can send a message out to the players. Uh, you know, it's been a, a year of, of hard adversities, quarterbacks going down, um, a lot of adversity, but the good thing is that Hawaii is just, um, just all, you know, going forward, facing those adversities and showing their character, their real character of never give up, you know, and just showing their real mana about, you know, keep on going and uh, not to lie down, but keep on fighting, if you know what I mean. For me as a fan, that just shows that, hey, brother, it's the way to go. Okay, so you being a big fan, I know you, uh, you had your Warrior Green on when they came to WSU. Is there a special message you want to send out to the players? Oh, yeah, brother, just keep it up, just keep on trying 100%. Hey, us as uh, real fans just can't ask for anything more, but you just try your best. You know, just make us proud. Next up for the Warriors, a well-needed home game on November 7th when Hawaii meets Utah State during their homecoming week. On behalf of the die-hard Warrior Nation, again I say, go Hawaii Warriors! I'm Pu'ukani from Pipeline Paradise Radio reporting for IslandSportsMedia.com, your ultimate island-style sports magazine.